800 kilometres from Adelaide, in South Australia's Cooper Basin, is the isolated outback town of Inaminka. It's home to only 12 permanent residents. But over 40,000 tourists and outback contractors visit each year. Isolation comes at a cost. There's a major expense to us is diesel. Um, the average hotel when I was managed in the city was uh, our electricity bill was between thirty and fifty thousand dollars per annum. Um, ours here is a quarter of a million dollars per annum. At Inaminka, diesel fuel generators produce the electricity needed to keep the beer cold. They, everyone runs their own generators and they all want to turn them off. Like everyone has to live next to a noisy generator. Um, ours is being the biggest, of course, they can hear us from kilometres away. But Inaminka's generators are on the verge of being silenced and diesel costs slashed. Our resource in the Cooper Basin has been identified as being the most prospective area anywhere in the world for baseload uh, geothermal energy. And if we're successful, then it pump primes all over the world. Inaminka is the test site for the world's first steam-powered electricity generated from hot rocks deep beneath the earth. You actually engineer fractures within the rock that allow you to pump water down one well through the hot rocks and then bring it up another well. And we're flowing water right at this minute between these two wells and the water's coming out at over 200 degrees C and we can easily build a power station on that, um, on that output. The hot rock technology isn't complicated. It's a fairly simplified technological process. It's a matter of learning about how we interact with the earth um, to create these uh, fracture networks to, to allow us to extract the heat. And we need demonstrations of this uh, to, to, to show how we can do it. Hot rocks won't be just chilling beer in Inaminka. The Coopers Basin is set to become the largest deep drilling program in Australia. Six drilling rigs will employ up to 500 people. We could potentially run the whole of Australia's electricity generation systems just from these hot rock systems or in enhanced geothermal systems. On a large scale, it doesn't really matter where the power comes from, on a large scale we can we could make it work and deliver the power into the major cities just like they deliver natural gas into the major cities from long distances away. In other words, we've got the most ideal geological conditions to, to allow us to achieve that. I guess after many, many years in the industry, much of it with fossil-fired generation, um, for me personally, it's about leaving something else behind um, and bringing all that experience and skills to bear for something which I believe is fundamentally very, very worthwhile for humanity.